demonstrate the physics in sports. You may not think so, but there's an abundance of physics in sports. All right, first I'll demonstrate why this basketball held this high will never reach its starting height. This is due to the potential energy being converted to kinetic energy, which is lost during the impact when it hits the ground. First, demonstrate the basketball crossover. The crossover is a very effective move. You can leave work, you can leave the defender on the ground crying. All right, and then crossover you can take advantage of a player's uh, inertia and its rapid change of momentum. Alright, and then now I'll let you get off my defense on this. Go. Go. Notice how Coda quickly changes directions, and Aaron, with his large moment or er, large inertia, cannot keep up. Coda, being the less massive player, has less inertia, and therefore it can change directions quicker. Now you're on the tennis courts to demonstrate the physics in tennis. We'll demonstrate the sweet spot and how certain curves. And what certain ways I hit the ball affect a tennis racket, like a baseball or cricket racket, has two sweet spots. If a ball impacts at either of these spots, the force transmitted to the hand is small compared to if it was hit, you know, away from the sweet spots. Both of these spots are relatively close to the center. One is called yes. the vibration node, and the other is called the center of percursion. Coden will now serve hitting the dead spot with his racket while Aaron returning the fast serve will hit the ball near the throat of the racket. We will now demonstrate the physics in soccer. Specifically, we will execute a banana kick, which is putting a certain curve on a ball to make you curve from the corner into the goal. Coda will put a certain spin on the ball which creates Difference in air pressure, thus causing air to move faster in one way, making the ball break in one direction. Coda will kick it, so it'll create a spin, which the faster flowing air to the left of the ball will create less pressure, thus forcing it to curve in that direction. Go. Coda will kick the ball with the instep of his foot and off center, which creates this, uh, the spin needed for the ball to curve. Go. Hurry up, you're wasting my time. I'm going. Oh. Oh, I <laughs> that looks so bad. We're now here to demonstrate physics in football. First, we will show how putting a proper spiral on the ball will allow the ball to travel farther, thus making it in a more accurate pass. Also show how um, how receivers bring the ball into their body, thus making the time of impact longer and easier to catch. Go. Aaron will create momentum with the five-step drop, thus transferring it with the forward motion. Go. Notice how Koda brought the ball into his body, making the time of impact longer and easier to catch. We're now here to demonstrate volleyball, which is a game that involves many collisions between the player's hand and the ball. We're now here to demonstrate volleyball, which is a game that involves many collisions between the player's hand and the ball. These collisions always conserve momentum and always connect energy because at the time of the impact, the ball deforms quite a bit. Actually, not quite a bit, but just a little. Players that are usually taller have a higher vertical jump can execute the spike, which is the uh, hitting of the ball over the net the best. So when I execute the jump serve, which is him jumping and hitting the ball, which will enable him to hit the ball over the net accurately.
here at Lost, Can Lost Canyons course today to illustrate how a golfer gets proper torque and club speed for a swing to be accurate. Notice how when Tyler hits it, the ball will compress. Wow, you couldn't see it. Tyler refers to move his club back and then with using his shoulders and hips to generate enough torque for the ball to go the proper distance. Go. Probably the contrary belief, you don't have to weigh that much or even be that big to hit the golf ball that far. Golf ball's dimples allow it to travel farther than a regular smooth ball. Ball's dimples allow the air to travel over faster, thus creating less air pressure and faster speed of the air, allowing it to travel farther. We're here today to demonstrate the baseball curveball. Tyler over there put some spin on the ball so there's less air pressure beneath the ball that's causing it to dive. Yeah, whatever, we go. Notice how Tyler holds the ball. His two index fingers, cocking his wrist, the ball will curve downward. Coda being the catcher, only sees the curveball curve about three inches, while right-handed batter would see it curve about 14. Oh, what a beauty! We'll demonstrate the El Droppo, which has almost no spin on the ball, causing it to move very slowly, I'll use the soft one. and gives more reaction time for the pitcher, for the cat, I mean the batter. <laughs> Last time we played baseball, right? Yep. Nope. As the pressure builds up, the ball under the air underneath the ball will travel faster, causing it to dive. Curveball does most of curveball does most of its diving in the last point one second of its of its trajectory. Now we will see the effect of the curveball on the hitter. Oh crap. I'll tell you to duck if it comes out bad. Yeah. <laughs> Being a right handed pitcher, pitch more effectively to a right handed batter like, like Coda. <laughs> this is due to the viewpoint the right handed batter has to the pitch coming out right handed. <laughs> 90 mile per hour fastball, we should play in about 0.4 seconds, giving the batter 0.2 seconds to react. <laughs> now we will see the fact of the hanging curveball. The hanging curveball will have less spin, which creates less dive, allowing the batter more time to hit the ball. <laughs> Catcher such, has such a large mitt, so the impact of the ball would be spread out, causing a less. Why? And the catcher has such a large mitt. So that when he catches the ball, it'll hurt his hand less because it spreads out the impact. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I was just kidding. Hey, get that horse. My bad. El Droppo at its finest. Oh, yeah, but. Hey! Today we have witnessed an abundance of physics and sports, so. <laughs> Everything twice before calling people like this. <laughs> jocks, dumb jocks, alright? It's a wrap. <laughs>